Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again. And thank you for joining us uh, on our Ingrid Micro Cloud, uh, getting started with Dropbox uh, webinar today. My name's Craig Bovid. Uh, I work within the Ingrid Micro Cloud team here based in Sydney. Uh, and we've also got Ankle from the New Zealand team uh, joining us today. Now, we don't want to keep you for too long uh, today. This really is a, a bit of a refresher course uh, for those who have been on the marketplace with us for some time. Um, or maybe you've just joined us from the Dropbox Partner community uh, and you've recently been migrated across to the Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace. So today, what we wanted to run through is really just giving you an idea of uh, Ingram Micro Cloud, who we are, uh, what we do, and give you a bit of an overview uh, on the marketplace and the way that we can uh, support you, both from a technical and a pre-sales point of view. And then I'm quickly going to run through just the process on how to spin up a new Dropbox subscription and adding a new customer for our Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace. And then after that, I wanted to touch on how do you manage existing Dropbox subscriptions? And that's via our reseller control panel. And just take you through a couple of uh, different levels of the marketplace just to show you where you can find those existing customers and how you might add to say another license to a customer you've already got. Then just wanted to touch on some of the resources uh, that Ingram Micro and Dropbox have in terms of their partner program. Uh, and then just to give you a little bit of a teaser as to what's coming up uh, on Dropbox on the marketplace and some of the changes to look forward to uh, starting pretty much in, in early February. So to begin with, really just to give you an idea, and again, if you haven't worked with uh, our team before here in the Ingram Micro Cloud Universe, um, when we're talking about Ingram Micro Cloud, we are talking about it from uh, a global perspective. So the team that we have here in the Ingram Micro Cloud team, we're actually part of a, a global team. Uh, and there's around about 170, 150 of us from a sales perspective. And then we back that up from obviously our engineering teams and our software development team. But when we talk about the marketplace, which is where we've got the ability to uh, provision new services, manage customers, uh, if you like, build uh, out your customers, do payment collections across a variety of vendors, you know, whether that be Office 365 or Dropbox uh, or Semantic, for example. The marketplace that we have here in New Zealand and Australia is actually the exact same look and feel that we have in all 31 different countries that we've now launched the marketplace in. So particularly useful for you know, us partners here uh, in Australia and New Zealand where we might have customers across you know, both countries and Singapore and Hong Kong as well, we've got the ability to, to deliver that same look and feel and experience and manage customers in the same way. Probably more importantly though, uh, is our local teams here. So we have local teams on the ground both in uh, Australia and New Zealand. So if you ever have any questions uh, about any of the services in our marketplace, uh, how to use the marketplace, um, and even from a level one troubleshooting, but we do have local guys here to be able to step you through, through those from all sides of, of the realm. And just to give you a bit of a, I guess, a larger view uh, of the Ingram Micro Cloud ecosystem is that, you know, when we're starting to look at what services that we deliver to market, we really do start right from the beginning, uh, you know, working with the vendors such as Dropbox, you know, helping them understand our partner communities, helping them understand the types of enablement and resources that our partners typically like to have to be able to develop their services and they go to market. Plus, we also do the development for actually connecting them into what we call our marketplace. Uh, and a little bit unique on the marketplace is that we actually own that whole process end to end. So we, we actually build our own marketplace, we support our own marketplace, uh, and then wrap our, around our services into that as well. Probably more key uh, for the likes of myself and Anchor and the cloud teams here locally is really then taking those services, taking the marketplace and the tools that we have there 
and helping our partners look at the way that they can wrap those services, uh, wrap those um, products and tools into a go-to-market, you know, what fits with your customers, help you from a marketing perspective, you know, whether you fit in that kind of MSP space, bar space, hoster space, and then helping you look at where it might fit from a, a customer. And that's really where we try and work from with our partners, is actually helping you build out you know, a profitable and um, manageable business when it comes to these types of subscription-based services. And then obviously underneath that, you know, we do provide both the technical support, vendor support, sales support, and marketing support to underpin all that as well. Now, some of you might be aware um, that we also have other platforms that we do talk around uh, when it comes to our, our cloud team. Uh, the marketplace, which we'll go through today, is really just the, the beginning of that story. Uh, you may then start looking at things like the, the white labeling of the marketplace, building that into your own uh, website or e-commerce store. And that's what we call our cloud store, giving you the ability to, to brand and add some of your own uh, services into our marketplace and open up the back end so customers can come in and do a little bit of self-provisioning and self-management and have that branded as well. You'll start to hear more about what we call our federated marketplace uh, a little bit later in the year when we start bringing in the ability to plug in those uh, external services as well. Um, and if you're already dealing with us on a, on a Microsoft level, particularly with Office 365, uh, you may have been talking to us about Odin Essentials. And that's effectively taking a copy of our marketplace uh, and allowing you to run that on your own infrastructure and then really start to add in your own services, you know, like domain services, or you might have your own backup service or your own uh, VPS in there. And then we can go further along the line and start building out, you know, uh, full multi-platforms. Those tend to be more at the, the hoster and the telco end of the spectrum. But ultimately, you know, we can start you from a, a one-man band and take you all the way through, uh, helping you from both the services and the platform and an automation level there as well. So no matter where you think you may be along the lines, please do reach out uh, and talk to us more about the different areas where we can help you, you know, from that platform and automation level. So if we just start looking at you know, the, the marketplace, that first kind of instance, um, which is what we're going through today. Again, in itself, you know, the marketplace enables you to work with multiple vendors to order, provision, manage, and invoice across multiple customers and, and multiple services. But we also do wrap around what we call our Ignite services, which is our technical support services. So any vendor service that we have in the marketplace we also provide 24 by 7 technical support uh, in there as well. And then obviously, you know, we've got the support for the vendors in there, the likes of the Dropbox. We can plug you into the Dropbox team. We can plug you into the Microsoft team. And also within our own Ingram Cloud team, with the likes of Anchor or myself, you know, we can help you from that pre-sale support uh, side of things, advise you around particular plans and where they might fit, et cetera. Again, the whole idea, even from just the beginning in the marketplace, is actually to help you to be able to you know, scale, but deliver and manage these services in a, in a simple one-stop way. Now, when we talk about our Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace, there's actually a few different levels into that. And this is what we're going to cover today. But when we talk about the, the marketplace itself, this is where, I guess, is the front end, where we set up new services uh, and new customers in there, spinning those services up for, for the very first time. Now, once we've got those customers and those services up and running, and we want to manage those customers, you know, you know look after subscriptions, maybe add a new mailbox or drop a user, when we're managing those users, that's where we do that within the reseller control panel. But you actually have a, another level. So if you like, you can actually let your end customers have access to their own portal uh, as such on the marketplace, where they can see the services that they have through you. Uh, and you can actually allow them to do some self-provisioning and self-management. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of work to do before you want to open that up, setting up pricing, et cetera. 
Uh, and if you want to do some branding on there, then we can talk about the cloud store. But those are your three main levels. The marketplace where we set up brand new customers, the reseller control panel where we manage across our entire customer base, and then we can manage an individual customer in there. And ultimately, the, the next level after that is the ability to then go into the actual vendor portal itself. So for instance, with Dropbox, we might be looking at adding a, a new customer. So we would add the new subscription inside the reseller control panel, add the user in the end customer control panel, and if we want to actually set up the Dropbox form, we might drop into the vendor portal as well. So there are many different levels when we talk about the marketplace. And these are just some of the kind of things that we're going to cover today, is that, that front end where we set up new services and set up new customers, looking then at managing those customers, and then actually looking at managing those subscriptions within there. And now look, there is a lot to our Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace and to that portal. There's a lot of features and functionality that you can do from a monitoring and notification and billing and marketing perspective. But what we really want is for our customers to get comfortable with these high-level uh, services to begin with, and then we can dive down. Now, if you haven't already activated your account uh, on the marketplace, then the first thing you need to do is simply log into what we call TechLink, our Ingram Micro online site, the one where you're probably used to going day to day and looking at you know, hardware, et cetera. Uh, and then within there, you'll have a link in which to go through to the marketplace and then activate your account. Now that login credentials are exactly the same. So it's all single sign-on. The same login that you use for Ingram Micro now is the same thing you use for your Ingram Micro Cloud account. Just on the first time, you just have to activate that and you'll have to double check that we've got your you know, contact details correct. And initially, you're going to choose which way you want to be billed. Do you want to be billed direct to a credit card, or maybe you want to be billed to a 30-day terms account. One of the, I guess, the key differences between those two choices is the way that we invoice you. With a credit card, we will send you an invoice for each transaction that we do in your credit card, whereas on the 30-day terms account, we'll send you a consolidated invoice once a month, and that will list all the customers and all the services that you have in there. But ultimately, you have the choice of going uh, either which way you like. Now, when we're talking about uh, the marketplace, and this, this vendor list is growing all the time, but ultimately, you know, it's not just about Dropbox or you know, even Office 365. As you start to look through the different areas of the marketplace, you'll come across vendors such as Acronis and Sirius, uh, Nomadesk, services in which you can resell, but you'll also find you'll come across some tools like uh, Skykick and BitTitan, which are there ultimately to help you as a partner around things like migration and deployment. Again, helping you automate your business and make it flow a, a lot easier. And you'll see more tools come in there as well. And also, uh, a little bit later uh, in the year, if you're using, uh, uh, I guess, a PSA, around something like ConnectWise or Autotask. We'll soon be launching a connector from our marketplace into those types of tools to actually enable integration between our marketplace and your billing platform as well. All right, so as said today, what I really want to do is, is cover these main two areas. One is setting up a new Dropbox subscription via the, the Ingram Cloud Marketplace. So as I said, the first thing you need to do is log into our TechLink portal, and here I've actually placed a shortcut into our shortcut bar. You'll find the Cloud Marketplace in there, and I simply just click that, and that'll actually take me through to the Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace. And you'll see up on the top right there, there's a login, log out button. That will automatically log me in if I'm already logged in with TechLink. Otherwise, you may just need to hit log in, and that will automatically refresh the screen for you. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to hover over the, the Cloud Services button here, and that will give you a drop-down box, and you'll see a couple of different areas. Uh, Dropbox happens to sit under Communication and Collaboration. And I'm simply just going to click the Dropbox Business link, and that's going to bring me to our main page here for Dropbox. 
And at the moment, uh, you'll see a couple of different options there, uh, annual and monthly. And I'll talk about some of the new services that will be coming up onto that page a little bit later today. But essentially, I'm now going to go look at setting up a new Dropbox business uh, license for a monthly subscription. First thing I'll do is I'll come to this, this order details screen. And you'll notice here that initially with Dropbox, they have a five user minimum. This is about to change. Uh, so you'll see this change as well, uh, but they do have a minimum order detail, so you'll always have that default minimum uh, group at the top. And then if I need to add any extra users, you'll see where I can add additional users uh, down the bottom there. Now, in this case, I'm just going to stick with the initial five, so I'm going to click continue, and that's going to take me through to the My Cart screen. Now, you'll see a couple of different things here. Uh, one. We do have the ability to show or hide the MSRP. The reason that we have that here is that some partners like to actually either take a screenshot of this uh, or they, they click that Save As button down the bottom left there uh, and they can actually, you can actually export your saved cards uh, to, a, to a quote, which is why we have the MSRP in there. In this case, look, I'm not going to continue to buy more services. I could, if I want, go add, say, uh, Office 365 Business Essentials or maybe a, an Acronis backup on there as well. But in this case, I'm just going to stick with uh, my Dropbox subscription and I'm going to proceed to the, the checkout. Now, the next screen is where I'm going to add in my end customer details. Now, I might actually already have an existing customer that I've set up on another service. So I've already popped in their details. So I could just select uh, an existing user. But before I do that, I need to make sure, obviously, I have my Dropbox reseller ID handy because you'll see there's an input box there where I'm going to have to pop in my Dropbox reseller ID so Dropbox can verify that I'm part of their partner program. If you haven't got one already, the link that I've highlighted there, that's where you'll just need to go sign up. It takes a couple of minutes and then you'll be ready to go. Now, in this case, I've gone with a new user. Now, when you start looking at the screen here, there's a couple of different things that we're actually setting up. One is we're going to take all the, the customer details for the Dropbox account, but what we're also doing is we're also going to set them up as a customer underneath my reseller account, and if I want, as I talked to before, I can actually give them their own login details to have a look at their own little portal, that customer control panel. So that username and password is actually setting up the customer for me underneath my marketplace account. Obviously, I'm also going to put in the company name and the first name, last name, and email address details. Now, the key thing here with the, the email address is whoever's email address I pop in here, this is who's going to get the confirmation email for the new creation. For Dropbox, uh, I highly recommend that you probably put in the end customer email address so they get the original invitation that they can click confirmation. And then once they've clicked that confirmation, obviously they can give you access to continue the list within there. But that email address, that's where the initial confirmation of the new account is going to get set up. I'm going to pop in their address details, I'm going to pop in their phone number, and I'm also going to pop in the security question. Again, this relates to the account for the marketplace for that customer. In, in case they, you know, if you do hand out that username and password, they can do a bit of auto recovery on there as well. But again, the key thing is I'm going to pop in my Dropbox reseller ID in there, and then I'm going to click continue. So now that I've selected how many Dropbox accounts I need. I've popped in my new customer and filled out their details, creating them for both me on the marketplace and for Dropbox. I'm now going to decide which way I want to pay. Right? And as I said before, when you first set up your account, you can actually decide how you want to pay. You can pay by credit card or you can pay by uh, net 30 terms. In this case, my account has been set up to go on the 30-day terms account. I'm going to check that I've got exactly what I need in terms of my subscriptions, 
and you'll see down there I've selected that starter pack. So even though it says quantity one, that's my starter pack. So that's the five licenses in there. If I had another couple of extra licenses, maybe I needed seven users, then you'd also see an extra two users on there. But that's my starter pack ready to go. You'll see also down the bottom is, I'm gonna to have to click that tick box to say that one, I agree to the Ingram Micro Cloud uh, Services terms, uh, but also to the Dropbox of Business subscriptions. Now you'll notice that both of those are hyperlinks, so if you want to take a copy of those and insert them into any contracts that you're also getting your customers to sign, uh, that's the place to grab them from. Now, once I've double checked my order, I've decided which way I want to pay and I've agreed to the terms and conditions, I'm gonna click Submit. And once I click Submit, that is essentially it. It's now going to go off to the Dropbox backend. It's gonna spin up a new Dropbox account it's going to email the confirmation details, so that email I popped in the customer information there. Uh, and it's also going to set up the customer on your reseller control panel. So once you've got that confirmation, this is now where we want to go in and actually set up and manage that customer. So here I am back on that screen I clicked before, and now since it's been uh, set up and I've received that confirmation, I'm going to click the control panel button up the top. And that's going to take us into that second layer of the marketplace. And this is what we call the reseller control panel. So it's within here that you can see I can click on you know, customers and subscriptions there and be able to keep track of all the customers and current subscriptions that I've got. So in this case, I'm going to click customers. And here I found my customer, Mr. Test IM. And you'll see on the far right there, on that action button, there's a little icon. Now, if I hover over that icon, that's gonna tell me that I can log into that customer as their administrator. And this is, this is how I highly recommend that you manage your customers when you're looking to up and down subscriptions. Whether it's Dropbox or Office 365 or Cronus, I always recommend that you actually log into the actual customer's account on the marketplace. So as you see, I've found the customer and that actions button, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna log in as that customer. And now I dive into the customer control panel. Now, if we take a step back, and when I was setting up the new customer, I said that we were gonna set up a username and password uh, that a customer could use to log into their version of the control panel. And this is exactly what they would see if you did hand that out. And again, this is probably the best way to manage a customer, because now I know I'm in the exact customer that I want to work with. You'll see there that I can see that these guys have a Dropbox business account. If they had Office 365 as well, you'd also see an uh, Office 365 tab. If they had a Cronus, you'd also see an Acronis tab. So in this case, now that I know I'm in the customer that I want to work with, I'm gonna click on the Dropbox for Business tab. Now just before I dive into that, what I've also highlighted there is the additional resources button. So if I needed to revisit this customer and add a new user into their company, obviously the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is add a new Dropbox license. Now, I already have a Dropbox subscription. We can see that. I've got a Dropbox business tab there. You can also see the Dropbox business uh, link on the front page there. So I want to buy a new license to add to that subscription. That's where I buy that new user is under that buy additional resources. And that will add another Dropbox license to my account. Now, if I now dive into the actual Dropbox page, so you can see on the tab there, I'm now on the Dropbox business page, you can see uh, a very high level overview of their Dropbox subscription. So I can see you know, the company name, I can see the, the team admin in there as well. Uh, I can see how many licenses they've, they've currently got and how many they're actually using. So you can see that you know, I've bought a few extra licenses already through that additional services tab. If I want to have a look at the exact members that I've already set up, you'll see the members tab up there. 
If I want to actually go into the actual Dropbox console itself, you'll see there's a link there, the go to Dropbox admin console. Now, when you first set up a customer, you'll actually see that grayed out because the customer obviously has to give you administration privileges and they do that from the Dropbox console itself. And I'll show you a resource on how you follow the steps to either send to the customer for them to do that for you, or obviously, you know, most of the time, you're going to be going in and setting up that Dropbox account for them, so you can simply follow the steps. But if you've been working with, say, Office 365, and you understand uh, the delegated administration uh, invite for your partner admin center, very much the same concept. So the customer has to accept you as administrator, and once they do, you will see that uh, link light up, and that will allow you to administer them through the customer control panel. Now, I've just clicked on the members tab there, and as you can see now, uh, I've got two members that are already set up. And if I wanted to uh, add a new member, you can see the add new member button right there. Because I've got you know a, a few spare licenses, as you could see in the screen before. I can simply add a new member and I'll add in their details and send them the invite. Now sometimes we know that customers don't always see that email to accept the invite. So there you actually see where I've invited those two customers already. Uh, and if I need to, I can resend that, that welcome email for them as well. But again, it's in this members tab where I can add those new users into the Dropbox account. So that's how I go uh, and add new licenses uh, and add new members in there. And I know that you know, if you, this is the first time that you've gone through, that's uh, still a, a fair few steps. So this is why we have the Service Desk Knowledge Base. And you'll see the link uh, down there, servicedesk.cloud.im. You'll also find the link on our main uh, Ingram Micro cloud.com.au or .co.nz page under the Support tab. Or if you're on the marketplace, you'll also see a support tab, and hovering over that, you'll also see the link directly to our knowledge base. Now here in the knowledge base, we obviously have a lot of step-through guides across uh, the marketplace itself. So you'll see our how to get started link there, uh, you know, our marketplace and reseller control panel. Uh, if you click on the quick jump menu here, you'll also be able to obviously jump straight to those vendor specific uh, titles as well. So in this case, I've actually clicked that quick jump menu and now you'll see under categories, I've gone to the, the Dropbox guide. And so you'll see a lot of the step through guides here on how to do those different steps. I do suggest having a look through that Dropbox starter guide, the link number two there. You'll see how it steps through all the steps from woe to go, including how to get your, your reseller ID. Also really good to get around the, the Dropbox interface because there has been a change on the Dropbox backend as well as they've moved across to join us in the, in the marketplace. You also see the steps there on how to you know, add a new team member. But one thing I would suggest, and this is where I've been talking about those admin privileges to get that delegated administration access, is this step here, step number eight, that's how to go into the Dropbox admin console and link it to the customer control panel. And that means you can always get into their, customer control, their Dropbox customer panel straight from the, the marketplace there. Obviously, the other key one there is that Dropbox Starter Guide, and that's got a few different articles in there on how to get going. But you always have access to this, and there's no need to log in. Uh, it's just straight into that service desk link. Again, you've got the link in the support tab, both on our ingramicrocloud.com.au and .co.nz main website, or directly from the marketplace as well. Now, apart from actually setting up the services and managing those customers, obviously we do also have a lot of resources around the Dropbox Partner Program uh, itself. 
So you see we have a range for our partner sales kits within there. You see a fair amount of resources. Uh, you'll also see how to pitch it against things like uh, Autodesk alongside you know, Adobe, et cetera, as well. Uh, there's a little bit more about the reseller program. Uh, but what's really key is if you look right down the bottom in the middle, the link on how to access the Dropbox reseller training. One really, really good in terms of getting to grips with the new Dropbox portal, but also completing that training will actually count towards your partner program and helping you to earn things like uh, internal use rights licenses uh, as well. Again, uh, the cloud team here uh, here to help you through these different guides and help you go through those vendor programs, so please don't hesitate to reach out. And you'll see the link down the bottom there on how to get to this page that covers uh, these different resources there also. Now the final thing I wanted uh, to cover this morning uh, was just to give you a little bit of a heads up about what's coming both from Dropbox uh, and both from the marketplace as well. So in February, you'll see uh, some new subscriptions, some new plans for Dropbox arrive in the cloud marketplace. You'll also start to see some bundles in there as well, where we've started bundling together services such as uh, Office 365 uh, with Dropbox and start to look at bundling uh, Dropbox with services such as BitTitan for the migration side of things uh, as well. But also keep your ears peeled for announcements from Dropbox themselves coming up uh, probably within the next week or so from the start of February around some new services uh, that they'll also be launching as well. Uh, particularly if you're looking around that kind of uh, integrated file server type space. So those announcements should be coming through from Dropbox at the end of this month, and you'll start to see those changes and the marketplace get reflected through uh, early to mid-February as well. Now that's really all uh, from me this morning. Um, I have got the, unfortunately I've just got the Australian details up there uh, as well. But I know uh, for our New Zealand partners, uh, you've got Anchor there as well. So please don't hesitate uh, to reach out. We have recorded this session. We will pop this up on our YouTube page. But please don't hesitate to reach out to us for any assistance around the Dropbox side. Uh, if you want to dive deeper into some of the demos on the marketplace, or you're not quite understanding how to find, say, your invoices, et cetera, that's exactly what the team are here for. That's exactly what we've got those services. Uh, this knowledge basis for as well. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you've got any questions at all. That's what we're here for. Well, I haven't seen any questions come through on the chat uh, session today, so I guess that's all from me. Thank you very much uh, for joining us this morning. Again, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. But for now, thank you very much for joining us, and we hope to speak to you soon. Thanks, everyone.